Hi, I'm Noble, and this is Noble Chair. Hey everyone, Noble from Lost Paws here, and we're doing a review of Hawkin in beta. And I'm gonna do a first impression slash review of this game. But first, before I do that, I'm gonna show you something. This. Well, you know, like all you guys, I got pretty excited. I was like, Hawkin, all right, this is gonna be good. So let's uh, let's just go. Let's 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 see what this is. Early access, because you know that's what the game is. It's an early access now. It's not actually fully released. So let's uh, let's go let's go get the game, guys. Let's go get the game. All right, it's uh, free to play. Yeah, it's free. Oh yeah, see, free to play right there, right there. Oh uh, yeah, we don't need to see this trailer, huh? But you know, it's, uh, there it is. All right, so let's uh, download the game. All right, where's the uh, there's the there's the free to play download button. I I, I see this, you know, buy buy Hawk and Nemesis bundle here. Yeah, yeah okay, you get some mech and goodies. So yeah, that's always welcome. But you know, I just want to try out the game. Got a cruise, yeah, so don't don't look at that. Don't look at that. Um, but uh, see a bunch of neat looking things here, and um, yeah, I'm not uh, not seeing it. Well, that's because apparently you have to pay this amount in order to play. You have to pay that thirty bucks in order to get into the open beta, and that's that's not cool. That could turn off a few people, but you know, so it goes. All right, uh, so that's that. I just thought I had to get that out of the way because there's a lot of controversy about paying thirty dollars to get into a free-to-play game, and whether that's good or bad, well, you know, we'll find out in this video. So let's get started off here. Let's just get into the game and I'll start talking about the business model here. So, you know, it's got uh, two different ways you can go about getting into a match here. Um, you can either go through the servers you now or you can just let it uh, choose whatever you want for you. So I'm just going to let it choose for me. I'm going to do a team death match here because that's the easiest one to get into. And let's just do launch. All right, and uh, let's talk about the the business model. It's a free to play game, as I as I was saying. So it should be free, but you have to pay thirty dollars to get in here. Blah blah blah. So, all right, if you're playing the free to play model, you're gonna start off uh, with one mech, and it's gonna be like this walking TV guy. And it's actually it's not it's not bad by any means. It's not like a noob thing here. It's it's basically this guy you would start off here. It comes with a tow rocket and an assault rifle. And charges. It's it's pretty uh, it's pretty standard. It's good. It does its job. It's not any better or worse than the others. That for you know most part, it's pretty. All the mechs are balanced. So let's just get into here. Let's help my teammates out. They got a good match starting up here. That's actually very fortunate that I got into a match like this. So this is good. All right. Well, all right. So the one mech you're going to be playing that one mech, that TV guy, if you're doing the free-to-play model for a very long time, all right, because it takes pretty much eight hours to accumulate enough of the in-game credits, uh, and the in-game credit, the Hawking credits, is what they call, uh, to actually purchase another mech. The, well, the at least the highest-costing mech. So you're going to be playing that freaking crap ton if you want to get into that. Oh, let's get this guy. Come on. Oh, he got away. That's okay. That's okay. But, you know, that's... If you like that mech, that's that's no problem. It's no problem whatsoever. And, oh, I'm gonna get this guy. I'm gonna get this guy. Please kill him. Kill him. Oh, shit. No, let's run away. I got this mech here. It's a pretty much a hit-and-run kind of guy here. I can't get in straight combat. It's a light mech. Uh, oh, I actually got the team's first kill, which is nice. And I got this other guy who's actually playing the same thing as me. But yeah, if you like that mech, you're going to have a good time with it. You're going to have fun with this game. But if you don't like that mech, well, you're going to be in trouble. And yeah, this, this cloaker guy got me here. And But fortunately, the game does give you uh, one to two uh, test run guys, like this guy you see right here. Good thing I died there. I can show you. And... Basically, it's a free mech you can play around with uh, every so often, and you know if you get that mech, that, that's, if you like that mech, that's good. But it'll be taken away with you. I think in a week they change it out every so often. I haven't hasn't been out in open beta so long, so I'm only making a guess on that one. Um, oh shit! Oh shit! But you know, 
But if you get the Nemesis pack, oh shit! Uh, <laughs> if you get the Nemesis pack, you get uh, I think around eight mechs. Eight mechs you start around with, and you can pick and choose the flavor you like, which is what I got here just to show you guys. And I like the Reaper. Uh, he fits my playstyle quite well. Light on his feet, and he zips around and has a lot of fun with. It. All right. All right. So, but because of you know, it takes about eight hours, roughly eight hours, to get a new mech. It kind of blows. I mean, because even if if you if you like that mech, that's good. But you know, if you don't like that mech, well, you're pretty much stuck with it. Because you know, if you don't have it on the trial run, but if it looked like something that you liked, and it's like, hey, I'm gonna enjoy that mech. Well, you're stuck with that. No refunds. You can't. You can't even test it out. Uh, so that. That's a bit of an issue in my part, and I'm not playing so well right now because I'm commentating. I'm usually actually pretty good at this. Just please believe me, guys. I'm, I'm decent at this game. I really am. But, you know, <laughs> it's just what it is. Uh, do, 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 do. There is a lot of foodles around here. Oh, uh, yeah. They're doing a good job of flanking us there. I got one. Oh, uh, no! Wow, they're doing a good job of stomping us, but at least I got one. Um, you know, so a large cost just to get everything. I mean, it, I think it's like thirty dollars for get like four mechs. So thirty dollars just to get the eight mechs uh, from the free to play game is actually a pretty good deal. Uh, even though they're not all like a like a crap ton of money that you would for the highest cost, they do some some do cost at least uh, like three thousand or something in game credits. As opposed to uh, twelve thousand for some of the higher costing ones, maybe fourteen thousand. I'm not positive uh, off the top of my head. So it's it's decent enough. Uh, it's to get the, all those mechs for thirty dollars. In fact, I, I recommend you do that. Otherwise, you will probably not enjoy this game as much unless you unless you are lucky and fortunate and that starter TV mech fits your playstyle. Um, and also, there, there's you can get cosmetic stuff and you know deck out those mechs to suit your playstyle. You can, you they have secondary weapons you can choose and attach and add on to them to make them a little bit more fun uh, to fit your playstyle just a little bit more. Uh, you know, which is which is decent. I mean, not everything is going to be you know roses, but you know. You'll, you'll get. Oh man, we are just getting stomped this game. Uh, well, that's uh, that's all right though. It, it, this happens, you know. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. And the cosmetic stuff. Uh, most you can get. Uh, you, you can't really get most of it uh, with the in-game currency that you get in game. You actually have to use the money, like real-world money, to get uh, the secondary credits in the game to actually purchase it, which is standard in free-to-play games. If you want to make your guy look good and spend some spend some dough to make it do a good that is good that's perfectly reasonable and I I encourage game models to do that oh Jesus they fucked me up oh shit uh, <laughs> I am not playing well at all here that's alright though um, do, 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 do. I should actually start paying attention to the radar and look where my team is that's how you that's what you, I'm supposed to be doing I'm supposed to be hiding behind them that's that's my style but uh, I think I have just one guy there. There's my other guys. Let's group up. All right. All right. And there is, uh, unfortunately, a little bit, tiny bit of pay to win in this game. Uh, the pay to win aspect being uh, like these. Oh, shit. That's all right. Let's heal up a little bit. Ah, shit. It's alright. I should have picked a better spot to repair. Uh, the pay to win aspect being um, you can get these consumable charges as secondary stuff. Uh, like, uh, and also these internals that you see here. You get a detonators and you can fill that up with more secondary items. Or, and you can also get uh, these these internals here that give uh, your mech like 13 reconstruction of max armor over it. If you get a kill or 6%. Uh, if you get an assisted kill, which is somebody else kills your target for you after you deal some dam damage to it. 
So, you know, those are straight up boosts to help you win in this game. And, you know, you can't get those just started off the bat. You actually have to pay for them. And you also have to pay for it for each individual mech, which I believe is bullshit. That, that's not cool. You, if you pay for one power-up, you should be able to put it on any mech you like. I mean, granted, if you want to do it this, you know, one for one. Ah, oh, shit, I'm so boned right now. Um, fuck, fuck, there's a lot of them. That's all right, you can do this. Get behind these guys here. Got him. All right. Let's heal up here. Okay. So yeah, those are straight up boosts. Uh, sorry, I had a tense, tense moment there. I had to kill that one guy at least, get my kill death ratio up a little bit. Uh, so yeah, it, it's a little bit pay to win. You can, but and you can also unlock that content early uh, by using in-game money. So you can get those boosts. You can use three charges instead of one charge you are granted, and each uh, for your consumable item, and uh, that gets replenished upon death. Uh, and you can either get one to three charges of that particular item, depending on the grade you get, and you have to get your uh, pilot level up there in order to actually use it, which takes quite a bit of time to do it. I'm only eight hours, and I'm uh, even ha I'm eight hours into playing this game, and I'm only level fourteen. Uh, currently, and that's uh, that's with an experience boost on top of that. So expect to play this game for a long time in order to get everything, which is fine if you like the game. And do, 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 do. Uh, and another little thing about uh, this business model is you also have to pay for you know ch uh, charges in your emotes. So you know this little thing at the end here, you can like taunt them, you can do stuff like that. Uh, just to piss them off even more and gloat to your enemy, which is actually kind of fun to do. But you also have to pay to use charges like that little chicken you see right there. If you use, like, you get 50 granted, but you have to use the in game credits or money to get some more of them if you use them up. And if you want different ones, uh, you have to pay for, you have to pay money or the in game currency to get those as well. And that's just, uh, that's that's another thing that's just not cool. And even even in co-op bot destruction, which is another game mode where you're not pitted up against enemies and stuff like that. Oh wow, I was I was first. I was not expecting that. Um, all right, well that's that's good to know. Uh, even though I'm commenting, so see, yeah, I'm not I'm not bad guys. I, I'm I'm a little bit decent. <laughs> but you know, uh, that's just those little things that may irk some people. I I just thought I had to t you know. Tell you, hey, you know, there's gonna be some, there's gonna be some paywalls that are obstructing like uh, going to the end game, and you have to, you know, put some money towards this if you want to get like some of the best stuff in this. But you know, most of the game is still skill based. I'd say about 80 percent, 80 percent is about skill based, and if you want to get the best stuff, yeah, you have to kind of work towards that goal a lot, or uh, pay the money outright just to get it. Uh, like getting like the best weapons, you can like the weapon that would suit your needs best, I would say. Uh, you can just straight up pay for it and say, hey, I want that upgrade right off the bat for that mech. You, but, you know, instead of actually earning it, uh, like by playing eight hours just to get to it. Uh, so, yeah, that's another thing. But, you know, that's that's what it is, how to get that out there. That's, the, that's, that's how their business model, that's for the most part. And this is a little boot up here. I, I like this little boot up here. You can get some funny things going on here. You can fail. Yeah, like I, I just failed the kernel checksum there. Like, uh, what, what, what is the kernel checksum? I don't know what that is. But it's got a little bit of humor there. So let's talk about the, the game a little bit here. And I already talked about, you know, you'll be playing that one mech a freaking ton. Uh, a frick load if, uh, if you use the free to play model. Uh, so, you know. If it's your style, that's good. If it's not, uh, well, I, I hope you got money or you got a lot of free time in order to get uh, the one you like. Or if you, uh, or if you're lucky enough to actually get the, uh, the little test drive of the one that you want uh, for at least a week. And there you go. At least you got that. But you know, don't don't expect it to be around forever. 
Alright, so, boo, I already talked about at least the forced into that one. Alright, uh, so let, let's talk about uh, a bit of the different mechs. There's light classes, there's heavy classes, and there's medium classes. I'm currently playing the the medium class here. The, the actually, the sorry, the light class right now. Okay, that's a uh, uh, that's just a drone right there. Oh god, that was a good one. Yeah, that that's one of the consumables. You can get a hologram to fuck with people. And wow, that did a good job of fucking me up there. All right, I got him. I got him. At least I got something there, and you can also hover over this to get some health back here, so... Or not. Alright. Oh, no, no, there we go. I, I was I was just over the wrong thing there. Oh, shit! Yeah, see, this guy, he's in the... He's in the default mech here. And, you know, he gave me a good run for the money. I, know, I still won, but it's, 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 it's a decent mech. It's not bad. It's not bad. Um... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh shit, I use my boost, and using the boost sh makes you show up on radar here. So, I'm gonna try and sneak around here. See if I can get this bugger. Oh. Alright, I got him. I got him. Woo! I'm oh, getting pretty intense in here. Alright, all right, I should actually start talking about the game. So yeah, the, the light model is nice, flighty, you can boost around and have a lot of fun. You're really easy to dodge shit here. And it's a lot of fun. It's my kind of play style. I enjoy it a lot. Uh, you can get the medium, which, you know, it's decent firepower. Oh, goddamn. Um, wow, that guy was right behind me. I mean, he didn't shoot, man, for whatever reason. I guess he was going after one guy. You know, there's another consumable here. You get this shield, so it's nice if you to lay it down and heal up in case somebody's going after you from a distance. Oh, shit. Yeah, that guy. That guy's pretty good about using those holograms, fooling me. So yeah, it's got some some good tactics here that you don't usually see in a lot of games. And we're actually stomping the other team right now, though they did just get one kill on us. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. guys, guys, don't do that. All right, all right. I guess I shoot up on his radar a little bit. There we go, I got him. And there seems to be a guy up top. See, that's the, that's the bad thing about using your rockets and boosts. I can see you on the radar. Oh, okay, someone got him there. So let's go pick up his heal and let's heal up a little bit. But yeah, so this, this game's a lot of fun. It, it, you're, you're forced in that one play style if you choose that. And I, but, you know, spending money makes you play the way you want to play, which is what I'm doing right now. But the thing is, though, you're going to be locked in that play style a lot. Uh, it, actually, I'm sorry. I already went over that. But you can... Um, do, 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 do. Come on. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I got him. I got him. I got him. Woo. Get intense here. Get intense. Uh, the thing is, though, um, it doesn't give you a lot of incentive to change your mech. And, you know, changing your mech is what, you know, these games are all back. There's so many cool mechs you can play. Oh shit, dude, he fucked me up. Alright, save, save my ass, bro. Alright, alright, that's good. Uh, but if, you know, you get you get experience points towards that mech to unlock more weapons, and once you unlock all those weapons, and you're loading up on all the consumables and charges and internals that you put in there, you spend a lot of time and money and effort onto that one mech, and you're not going to want to change. That guy's my class, too. Oh, shit. I, I need to wait and let this uh, heat gauge die down a little bit. Oh, shit! No, they got me good there. Um, but, yeah, you, you're not going to want to change if you're going to be putting in a lot of uh, effort and time to those mechs. I mean, I, I, I for one, don't want to change from my Reaper because I'm, I'm doing pretty good with them right now. I, I've, been, I've gotten used to it. I've, I'm flying around. I do my best at it. It suits my play style. But, you know, sometimes I, I do want to change it up. But, you know, you just don't do so good with all those extra bonuses or, you know, getting the guns you want on that particular mech. You actually have to go through the trouble of unlocking all that shit again and paying for that shit. All the internal stuff. 
Like, uh, you think that's not cool. That's why I recommend them, uh, ha you know, once you buy one of those internals, you can slap it onto any mech you want rather than you have to pay for it individually for each mech. I mean, if you want to change, you should be able to change. And if you're not able to change, that's not cool. Alright, let's get out of there. That's that's gonna be bad for me. Let's see if I can sneak up on this guy here. Right, let's get out. Alright, alright. But yeah, that that's in the force and and the game itself here, as you can see, I'm getting quite intense here. And it's it's very very competitive and it's really good and then, you know you can feel the weight of the mech you can you can feel the bullets coming at you and hitting your mech and you can see the screen shaking with everything your gun the feedback everything is great uh, at least I got him before I died there at least I think I did yeah I did that guy just got me right there and good yeah yeah see that's the TV TV box mech got me and that's the initial mech you start out with and. You know, each mech comes with its own unique play style. You get these little boosts that you can use every so often in the bottom screen. Mine is using like this right here, which increases my accuracy uh, tremendously for these. So I can really just mess those guys up because I got 100% accuracy and my, my mech is all about precision. And that's what I like playing. So I can once I get a deadbeat on these guys, I can really fuck them up. Of course, you know, at that distance, I'm not going to do so good. But you, you know what I mean. Yeah, this guy is doing a good job. He's got a flank on me. That's, uh... Oh, shit! That was, that was terrible. That was, that was a bad move by me. But, you know, so it's, it's a lot of fun. It's very competitive. If you're going after the guy, you have to, you know, like, go, hey... All right, do I have enough health to take them on? And do I am I able to actually do it? Do I have enough heat left in my gun to actually take them out? Do I have to wait a little bit? Should I surprise them by sneaking up on him as opposed to uh, just taking like trying to do head on? Like this? Oh my god, yeah, that guy just messed me up. See what I did there? That's why I have to be kind of tactical about this when I go about that. He had the high ground there. He's shooting grenades at me. It wasn't smart to me for me to go after them with my fast and flighty guy up especially up a hallway there so you know there's there's a lot of tactics involved in this as opposed to just you know point like your assault rifle at them and fire you know oh shit oh jesus we're yeah they got a pincer move on us right now So yeah, a lot of good tactics about it. Game feels great, and that's why I that's I put a lot of negative about this, about the pay to win stuff and all that other crap. So that that's one good aspect about this. Uh, so and all the get different game modes. There's death match if you're having fun uh, doing with uh, you know like going against the five million guys at once. There's team death match, what I'm doing right now, where you're a team and you're going up against all these guys together. Although I haven't been doing too much of that of this together, and that's probably why we've been doing so bad. Oh, shit. Gotta put up that barrier so I can't get to him. Oh, shit. Oh, the guy got up behind me. That was smart of him. That's just how it is. And uh, there's also a siege mode, which is actually pretty interesting. Uh, you get um, battleships and you f fight each other. Uh, with these battle uh, these battleships that you have to go to different nodes in order to collect energy and go back to your home base, and then you pay for the battleship and they goes towards your enemy base and it tries to destroy it and you can uh, control an anti air node on it uh, on the map and it'll shoot uh, like a bazillion times at this thing at this massive thing that you can also shoot at in order to take it down. So it it ends up you usually go through like five of these damn things in order to actually beat the guy. Uh, it, it's a pretty interesting game mode, I'll give it that. But there isn't a lot of it because those matches take oof, a good 40 minutes sometimes. Uh, and there's also a missile assault, which is basically a stand on the post and 
uh, keep it uh, kind of game, like a capture, the, uh, ca not really capture the flag, but a uh, king of the hill kind of game. And wow, I'm, I'm first. I was doing terrible there, wasn't I? No, oh, well, that's that's how it is. Um, so yeah, it's that, that game's and there's also a kind of unique one if you don't want to go up against uh, 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 other players, you can play in a co-op bot match. And the co-op bot match is you're pitting up against like these other like drones that fly about and you can shoot them out of the sky and other mechs that are usually a lot better than the player, like have more health and stuff like that than the player's mechs, but they're not as smart. And you would go up against them and fight, duke it out with them, which is good, but uh, you know, not a lot of people are playing that one. Uh, and I'll tell you the reason in a little bit. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'll tell you a little bit about the modes themselves, what my feelings are. The deathmatch mode, I mean, that's 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 like standard base. Hey, it's all right. It's it's not the best mode, but it's it's decent for what it is. Um, I mean. I mean, if, if you enjoy fighting like this guy, feeling like this pump adrenaline, and then finally like, some guy comes up to your butt and just takes you out instantly, and after a long batch and kills both of you guys that have been working it, yeah, yeah, I guess that's playing smart, but that's not very satisfying, at least to me, but I know some people will enjoy doing that. Uh, and then there's Team Deathmatch, which I, th I feel is this game's pretty much its strong point right now, because... You guys are clumped together as a unit, and you go out and you fight these guys. Uh, no matter where they are, you you know you jump up on different cliffs. You uh, you go about through alleys, zip around, and have a lot of fun. You can tank up as one of the heavy mechs, and really go uh, you know stand behind him as a healer and heal that kind of tech. Uh, heal that guy as he's dishing out the damage. I and mean, all all valid tactics and a lot of fun. And the missile. Uh, the missile mode, I feel, renders, uh, while it is fun to play like a King of the Hill kind of game, it renders like some of my fast and flighty mechs here kind of obsolete because you want to be defending that those things and if you can't really move away from the flag point too much uh, in these fast and flighty guys here because, uh, you know, you'll lose the point. And it's not it's not really my play style. It's not designed for that. But you know, if you want to play that, if that's your thing, you know, I, I, there's a place for that for everybody. And the the most unique one, the siege one, that that one's pretty fun. I, I've I've had a lot of fun with that. Um, but again, it takes a long time. A lot of people are confused about what to do because those maps get so big. You're not sure where you're going half the time. But uh, for the most part, uh, it's, it's a bit too big to find out you know, what you're doing, where the enemies are, and sometimes you can get to the stale point where you're both trying to build up battleships in order to go at each other. And this is probably going to end up bad for me here. Yeah, unless I put on that. Ah, shit. That was bad. It's alright, though. I tried getting the accuracy thing, it didn't work out too well. I should have did something different. That's okay though. Um, boop, boop, boop. It's, uh, I, I, I can recommend it. It's, it's different, but it's also like you. It's hard finding a game mode for that. And but by far the hardest one to find a game for is uh, the co-op bot destruction, which is you against AI bots. And oh man, those those games. I mean, while they are fun, they take a long time. But they have a lot of downtime between the waves where you're just kind of standing around waiting for shit to spawn. Yeah, alright, let's not go out there. Oh shit, is there something below? Uh, no, he's up above me. Alright. Oh shit. Alright. So yeah. At least I whoo, got away there. That was a tough. That was tough. Hopefully I can actually get a kill around here. Ooh, okay, I guess I can't jump out of there. Um, let's see if I can sneak up behind this guy here. He's got a hit on him. Alright. I got at least an assist out of that. So I got up with my teammates here, which is the name of the game here. Let's actually go out and have some fun with these guys. 
but yeah, the tactics and team deathmatch are really what make this game shine, in my opinion, because you can be any mech, and any mech is suitable for the job that you need to do. And and it brings out the game's strength and such diversity of the mechs, as opposed to like being a little bit limited in what you want uh, and what you can do in some of the different modes. Alright. So now that I got in a lot faffed about all that, and I'm gonna die. <laughs> now that I faffed about all that, um, you know, for the, I'll, I'll talk about like some of the weapons that you can do. There's like these flat cannons, which are basically shotguns uh, that can go around and kill people with, and that's what I, these guys have been killing me with mostly when I get up and close. They just destroy me with those shotguns. And there's, you know, the standard assault, assault gun. These guys are firing at me right now, and there's this one guy up top that's shooting me. Let's see if I can repair here and not get shot. Alright. Boop, boop, boop. And then there's also the uh, unique missiles that you can hit the middle mouse button to lock on them, and then fire them off at the enemy, and you can dodge them, which is, which is nice. Whew. Okay, let's uh, repair up again. At least I got that one guy. Um, uh, and there's also tow rockets, which are not locked on, and those do a lot of damage. And then, of course, my little sniper, gunny, like bolt action kind of stuff here. That's just hard hidden, but you get so few shots in between. Mm -hmm. And I, that, that suits my play style with the, the bolt action. And feel kind of snipery. That's probably not smart to keep going back because they know where I'm coming from. Yeah, let's not do that. Let's get out of there. Boop, 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 boop. Let's see if I can come and hit him around the pass. And most of those weapons are pretty balanced from what, you know, from one and another, which is good. And... And now that I'm, you know, I've faffed about a lot of the stuff, uh... Let's see if I uh, some of the improvements I would like to see personally. I mean, there is a lot of times where I'm up and close about these guys, and I just want a melee weapon. I mean, what is a giant robot fighter when you don't have a melee weapon? I mean, right now, if I could knife this guy, that would be ideal. I would destroy him. All right, this is bad. All right, they know where I am. Oh. oh, it was so intense, I was trying to get out of that. There was no way. At least I got them away from us to be trying and lured them out. But, you know, I guess it wasn't enough. But, you know, I mean, I want a melee weapon. I just want to knife these guys and get some visceral action of, hey, I just shoved a freaking saber sword up these guys' butt. I mean, that would be great. Oh, son of a bitch. Alright, at least I got that guy. Oh shit. Alright, double kill. No! Alright, that's how it is, though. That's how it is. That guy got me pretty good. Uh, he was even my own class, too. Um, but yeah, I mean, and then another thing to probably make this game more appealing to the public it would be to make this, uh, make some of the mechs a lot cheaper than they are because eight hours for one mech is kind of a bit ridiculous. You should, you know, open them up more, or at least start out with, or at least start out with more mechs, so people can get a different play style going for them, so they can play like something that suits them, as opposed to starting out with just one and hoping they get something that may suit their needs. All right, at least I got that guy. Yes, got him. Woo. All right, let's see if I can go around here and zip around, maybe get some more. Um, heal up a little bit. All right. Oh! Got him. Let's heal up a little bit here, see if I can get around these guys. 
But yeah, um, do, 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 do. <laughs> I'm sorry, I get silent for time to time. I just get so into this game, and that's that's one of the strong points. I mean, after all these negative stuff I'm saying, you you get pretty into these matches here. They get they get intense. You can feel it, like feel the adrenaline pumping through your veins on these mess. Once you, oh man, I didn't get that guy. I mean, you're zipping around, you're doing all these fancy tricks. And you can boost for most part, and there's even a little bit of fall damage here, uh, but you know, not enough to actually make a big deal. Ooh, shit! There's a lot of them. Uh, he bunkered up. I don't think I'll be able to kill that guy. I'm um, he overheating. Oh, that was another. I guess he healed up. Oh, he must have used a charge or something there. I wonder how that happened. But yeah, uh, yeah, that's that's another thing. If you have those charges, you can really get, change the game, and that you know that's that seems a bit unfair. But you know, if everybody started out with them, that would be nice too. If everybody at least started out with at least one, everyone starts out. With, let's try this again, noble. We're gonna start talking, and we're gonna start talking, making this real. All right. <laughs> but you know. Uh, and you know, let's go back to the improvements I would like to see. Um, all right, let's uh, let's get the fuck out of this. All right, let's heal up because I only got ten HP. Wow, that was close as hell. Um, do, 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 do. and I would also like um, a, a different mode because there's so much you can do with this and one of the modes I would like to see is probably a, an assault mode or a defend the base uh, kind of mode where you're going up against somebody's base and you're trying to get in there with your team and you're having a good time. Alright, let's uh, not go after that because they're going to fucking destroy me with that. That was close. Let's see up a little bit. Oh, that was close. I was gonna get that guy. That's all right. Woo. But yeah, an assault the base kind of mode. We're going in this base and you're destroying all these mechs. You can really have a good time with that, and that would bring out one of these uh, like the game's strong points. You know, like sure, there's like some turrets or something off the locks away, and you're just you're going in there to destroy like this base's core and make it blow up, and you have to get out of there in time. Uh, before it like all blows up, that would make it kind of neat too. Uh, you know, just to give it a little bit of extra boost of adrenaline, so you try to fight your way back out. And another thing that would probably make this game like rock solid is actually giving you full customization of a mech. Like you can build your own mech. That is what I really want to see. If I want to run like a like a fast uh, flighty mech that has two uh, Vulcan miniguns, that is what I would want. I, I want two Vulcan miniguns and a fast guy that goes around, kind of suicidal, he just goes in there, gets in your face, blows you up, and zips by and runs away. Kind of like a hit and run kind of guy. That's what I want to see. But you are locked uh, with this secondary uh, gun here. and I, I think that's enough for one of this because I'm, I'm pretty much almost done here. Because um, um, you can just really get into that. You can have a lot of fun uh, making your own mech and making it look the way you want and you know if you had to pay like uh, I don't know like ten dollars to do it you know you would at least have a mech that would fit your play style the way you want to do it and you know they would make some money off of it you would have the mech you want and it would be great because uh, for the most part I believe these these mechs are all pretty balanced and all the weapons are balanced for their uses they have strong points there's no weapon that is clearly better than another. Uh, so that's and that's why you know having that locked secondary gun uh, that you know every freaking one of these things has. I mean, you cannot change the secondary gun no matter what you do. It's it it just makes it very samey for some of these because all these there's a lot of tow rockets on everything here and that's just boring. As you see, and you have to unlock it with that. But all in all, you know. It's a good game that I would recommend, but only, only 
if you pay the initial $30 to play this game. And you would probably not enjoy this if you started off uh, just with the, this TV mech you see right here. You would probably not enjoy this game. Uh, well, you may, you may, but you probably won't because you won't have all these to have fun and play with to find your play style that you want to do. All right, that's Noble from Lost Paws. I'm signing out. Uh, you guys have fun.